Welcome. We're here today with Dr. Nakao, who's Associate Professor at the University of Tokyo. Welcome, Dr. Nakao. Hi. Hello. I was wondering if you could start by explaining to us that, that you've coined this term deeply programmable networks. I was mm -hmm. wondering if you could explain a little bit more about that okay. and its relationship to software-defined networks. Okay. So in short, uh, the concept of deeply program programmable network is an extension to uh, the concept of uh, SDN, the software defined networking. And we came up with this term uh, because uh, we wanted to extend uh, you know, current uh, SDN uh, from just the programmability of the control plane to programmability of a data plane as well. Because uh, you know, the currently the purpose of uh, current SDN is to uh, automate things by a program of the control plane so that uh, you can reduce the uh, cost, uh, especially the OPEX operational expense uh, of, the, uh, of the network. But uh, sometimes uh, we feel that you know, that's limited uh, you know, in terms of programmability because we want to look at the uh, data plane as well because uh, we have lots of uh, interesting problems happening in the current internet. And uh, sometimes if you, um, you know, program data plane, uh, you know, uh, functionalities like caching and DPI and deep uh, packet inspection, we can uh, resolve uh, constantly arising problem more flexibly. And okay. so, so it's a lot about reducing complexity and making it easier for operators to implement new services. C mm -hmm. Can you explain um, why standardization is so important in this field? Okay, uh, of SDN or DPN? Of SDN. Of SDN. Okay, so uh, SDN uh, defines an API for control plane uh, programmability. So if there is no standardization, so everybody you know wants to uh, develop their own uh, API. So at some point, uh, you know we have a basic set of APIs so that uh, many vendors can uh, define you know uh, the pro uh, write a program that is uh, you know that are using. It's a basic set of APIs. But at the same time, what we are saying in the DPN, Deeply Programmable Network, is that sometimes uh, you want to define a proprietary set of APIs. So we can uh, differentiate this basic set and a proprietary and a programmability of redefining these APIs is a very uh, important one. And, and, and what role do you expect that ITU will play in this particular part, the standardization part? Okay, so uh, SDN is in a great uh, confusion right now because uh, nobody has clearly defined uh, SDN yet. So what we say today is that the SDN it decouples control plane and the data plane and you can program control plane, but nothing more than that. And uh, so st standardization at ITUT I think uh, has uh, two roles here. So the first role here is, is that uh, maybe uh, we clarify this you know, confusion around SDN. So we take uh, you know, lots of related area, like uh, you know, SDN, network virtualization, network functions virtualization, and a DPN. You know, all the uh, SDOs are working on uh, defining you know, and uh, standardize uh, these technologies, but uh, there's no you know, global picture of these uh, related um, areas. So maybe uh, ITUT can take a lead on uh, you know, drawing this uh, you know, entire global picture to explain, OK, this area has, th you know, this uh, SDO has this scope, and you know, draw a map of related areas. That's, that's the first role. And the second role is that um, you know, nobody has uh, ever uh, defined this uh, deeply programmable networking idea yet. So extending the uh, control plane programmability into the data plane programmability. So the, all these missing pieces and uh, defining the multiple isolated uh, you know, programming environments, you know, that is also missing. So all these missing pieces from the current uh, SDN field, uh, maybe ITUT can attack that and, uh, and uh, try to uh, define these uh, you know, technology areas. Well, we, we very much look forward to seeing how that work progresses. Thank you very much for coming to speak to us today. Okay, thank you.